Oh, hi there. Well, you must be Lizzie's new friends. I see that Lizzie left me some clues about the Bible story she read. Let's see here. The earth and a carrot and a dog. Hmm. What Bible story do you think that could be? Do you know? Yes! Oh, I think I have it. God created the earth and vegetables and animals. Hey, this little guy's cute, isn't he? Look at him. <laughs> that must be it. Now, I think if I ring this bell, you'll tell me what Lizzie discovered. God, God is, is my, my creator. creator. Well, that's it. Can you say it louder? God is my creator. God is my creator. In the Bible, I've read all about God and how he created everything. Did Lizzie tell you that God created you too? Yes! Great! That leads me to a big question. Why did God create you and me? Well, the Bible says God created the first man and woman, Adam and Eve, to be like him. And God used his own breath to give them life. He wanted to be close to them. And he wants the same thing for us too. Wiggle your fingers in and look at your hands. God created your hands and wants your hands to help other people. Now let me hear your voice. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. God wants your voice speaking his words to tell other people that he loves them too. Now put your hands on your head. God designed our brain exactly the way he wants it. The questions you ask, the art you create, the play you pretend. All of those things bring a big smile to God's face because you and I are his creation. You know, speaking of brains, one of the best things to put in our brain is God's word. And that's why I've been memorizing Bible verses since I was about your age. I know a lot of them now. You know why I do that? Because then one of those Bible verses pops up to help me when I need it most. One of my favorite verses tells about that. Psalm 119.11 I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Hey, do you want to remember this verse too? Yeah! Great! Well, let's take it slow with just the first part. Repeat after me. I have hidden, I have hidden your word your word in my heart. In my heart. You know, I think it's easier to remember Bible verses when I add some motions. Here's what I like to do for this verse. Psalm 119, 11. Psalm 119, 11. I have hidden, I have hidden your, word your word in my heart. In my heart. Great. All right, let's try that one more time, maybe a little faster. You ready? Here we go. Psalm 119, 11. I have hidden your word in my heart. Great job. Oh, I did my own experimenting with a batch of cookies for Lizzie. I better get them out of the oven. I'll see you all soon. I have hidden your word in my heart.